everyone, Cindy out here with Marty Endeavors. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good today. I wanted to show you guys, <clears throat> again, I've just been sitting here playing around, and I've got all these different, um, let me show you first. I've got all these different shapes, right? Um, I've got a bunch of circles. I have a bunch of frames, um, just odd and end you know tags and that kind of stuff these are all from die cuts and then oh here's another one I have these suns which I thought would be kind of cool to do so anyways I have all of this stuff as well and this is all just little flowers and stuff that I've um, little I don't know what you want to call it botanicals or I'm not sure just little stuff that I've cut out of um, a lot of the jelly prints and I decided I really need to do something with them so I use them because I won't just pick them up and take them out and use them um, when I'm creating a page unless I have them attached to something or with something else. So what I decided to do is I'm going to take these shapes that I have. Like for example, I have this um, frame here. And what I'm doing is I am just going to staple um, some of these to the different shapes. So for example, um, I started out with scrap paper and then I thought why not use, you know, shapes that I've got. So here's one. This is just done out of a piece of scrap paper as a background. And you know, this will be great for me to stick into a little journal. I don't have one right here handy, but um, here's another one that I did on a piece of scrap paper. You know, again, put this alongside of a um, journal page and it would be really cute. Uh, and then this one I did on a shape and I thought you know that's really cool that's just really pretty so what I'm doing is I'm gonna sit here and like I said I'm I'm using this I'm using my um, Tim Holtz tiny attacher here and I've got all the little um, staples here let me see what I have in right now I'm not sure <clears throat> right now I have in blue so I know that um, I can work with blue things and be okay. So <clears throat> I have this frame. And like I said, I want these little things to be able to do stuff with when I'm doing either the small journal pages like I have been doing or, you know, even a bigger journal page. So there we go. Now I can take that and I can put something inside of it or I can just put, you know, glue it onto a page and I can write inside of it, whatever I decide to do. So that's what I'm sitting here doing. Um, I figured I'd bring you guys along. Again, I have shapes. I have all these different type of flowers and botanicals and stuff. And then I have these here. Um, these are just little pots of flowers or pots of whatever you want to call it plants I guess um, so I'm gonna do something with those as well uh, actually this one let's see let's see what we can do with this um cute but no you know cute but no these I think are a little bit too big for what I'm doing but I do still have these frames here and I also have something like this this is another frame that was um, cut out. Let me just look on a die cut. That's a little bit. No, don't like that. Try again. No. One of these is going to look good. I'm telling you. That one's not bad. Now, that one doesn't look too bad there. Again, I can put this on the side. I can add glitter to it. I can doodle on it. I can paint it a different color if I want. Um, and I can also, I've got some scraps here that I just pulled out of my scrap drawer. Not that. And what I can do is if I don't like it, I think it's a little bit too much. So I can always add you know something to it so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that a little bit of there you know and it doesn't even have to be straight up and down it could just be like this with some type of a background or you know 
however you want to make them. I just thought they were something cute, quick, easy, um, just fun to play with. And I kind of like that. So now this one is green, so I don't want to use my blue staple in it. Now another thing is you don't have to staple these. You can use glue as well. As a matter of fact, I've got a glue stick right here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just glue this. Put this little piece of paper on there. Doesn't really matter how it is. And then I can glue my little flower pot here with my leaves. And I can glue that on. So you don't have to do it with a stapler. You can do it with glue. You can do it with tape. You can do it with anything you want to. But I am, right now I'm in the mood for staples because I'm just not in the mood to get glue all over me. So that's what I'm going to sit here and do. If you guys want to, you know, hang out and maybe make some with me, um, you're welcome to. And I'll talk to you at the end.
Okay, so <laughs> on and off between trying to feel better and um, trying to feel better, I've been playing around here in my art room. I'll come in for a few minutes and mess around, but I started making these. You, I showed you guys the um, flowers that I had made, and then while I was making these, I got this idea, so I decided to start making these little, I don't know what you want to call them, just things that I can put in my journal. So now some of these are kind of funky looking, but you know what? I can always add to them and add more to them. So I just wanted to show you. These are just a few of the things that I made to put in my journals. There's another one. This one I think is kind of cute. That'd be great with a little picture of, you know, somebody you love behind it. I thought that was really cute. Um, this one is just different. It's just, you know, I made these flowers eons ago on my channel, and they are made out of little tiny punches, and they ended up looking like little snowflake things, but these, this one, I thought was kind of cute. This one, I actually used one of those tiny flowers that I made. I don't like big bulky things in my journal, so I... You know, I tend to stay away from this kind of stuff because I like to write in my journal as well. And when I have these bumps, it's just, it's a pain in the butt. So, um, this one, just kind of, uh, whatever. Um, again, a lot of these I can just um, add to um, when I decide to use those in my journal. These two I think are kind of cool. <clears throat> This one I really like. This one I really like. This one turned out pretty well. I think that one's kind of cute. I've got this one here. This one here. This one, I'm not quite sure what happened to it. <laughs> it just kept growing and growing and growing. So I may end up just using this in my journal and using this as a place to write. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It just, it kind of grew out of control. Um, this one, it's just kind of cute. Again, this would be great alongside page of, you know, one of my personal journals. I do a lot of writing in my personal journal. This one, I like this one. This one turned out really pretty. I really like that. This one I was just having fun with, and I actually think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I have this fence die. Actually, here's another fence without anything on it. And I just got playing around, and I put this in as a tree and just a couple flowers, or even a big flower, it doesn't matter. And then I added this little bird to it, and I thought it was kind of cute. So that'll look cute along the bottom of a journal page. I've got this one, which I think turned out pretty cute. This one here, and this one. So take the time to just grab out all that stuff that you die cut um, and see what you can make out of it. You know, I really enjoy a lot of these. That one I'm not so sure, but I really enjoy a lot of these, and I'm actually kind of excited of using them in my art journal. So my art journal and my personal journal, I should say. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I will chat with you again soon. Thanks. Bye.